Good day. Who do I have on the line? Uh, this is Brian Morgan. Well, hi, Brian. Thank you so much for joining us here in Dallas, Texas, on the Valder Beebe Show. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. Well, tell me about your role in Esquire's Friday Night Tykes, which is one of the most, I think, uh, one of the most successful series out there. Well, I mean, my role is I'm the, uh, you know, co-founder, chief executive officer and president of the Texas Youth Football Association. So, you know, uh, myself and uh, uh, about four other gentlemen run the, run the league itself. So we're the kind of the governing body of the, t of the organizations that participate in our league. Well, you're from Texas. You know how big football here is in Texas, obviously. And that's my, probably why Friday Night Tykes is such a phenomenon on the Esquire Network. Oh yeah, I mean people I think people were interested they, they've always heard people outside of Texas hear about how fanatical people are about f football in Texas and why, you know, it's part of the culture in Texas, but I think they really don't understand and I think the, sh the show can go a long ways to help educate people as far as why football is so big in Texas, why it's so culturally ingrained in w in everything that we do. You know, I I've told people time and time again that it's, you know, in Texas, you know, it's the saying is faith, family and football and not necessarily in that order. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The show is real successful, but it's got a lot of has gotten a lot of criticism about it's too hard, it's too tough for the kids. Uh, the parents are just totally crazy. They say, "What do you? How do you respond to that?" Well, I think I think it's 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 all about passion. I think you know the, some of the critics do, may not understand the passion that these coaches have, the passion that the kids have, and the passion that the parents have to play this game. Um, so I think it's going to, it takes a little bit of education for those people outside of the state of Texas to understand, you know, the, the seriousness of the game itself and, and why people, or why the kids want to play this game and play it at such a high level. Uh, I, think, I just think it's, it's, it's a little bit tough for some people to grasp, but, you know, the, so people who don't like the show won't watch it. People who do like the show are going to watch it. So, I mean, you always got to accept the good with the bad, I guess, when it comes with it. It's a 10-part docu-series, as I call it, and it follows five teams in San Antonio, the San Antonio Division and the Texas Youth Football Association. Do you think stars will emerge out of this? Uh, I'm sure they will. I mean, we've, you know, we have a lot of kids that have come through our program over the course of the last 20 years that have gone on to bigger and better things, you know, playing in Division I college football and things of that nature. Um, so I, I think, yeah, there, could there be some future stars that people are looking at? Most definitely. And, you know, we have a lot of talent in our league, and, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these kids that they see on this particular show, uh, you don't read about them in the paper here in the next five to, to seven years as far as playing college football or even being the next NFL, you know, drafted in the NFL. Last season, or uh, I don't know if it was last season, there were some coaches who were spotlighted, I guess, for bad behavior or bad calls. I'm not sure which one. How did that impact the show? Well, I think it impacted the show, uh, at least from a league perspective. It, it allowed us to, to have a peek behind the curtain of, of Typha itself and be able to see what some of our coaches do when left to their own devices when no one of leadership is not necessarily around but there to kind of police it. Uh, so I, it really helped us in a sense to help maybe to start cleaning up some things, tightening up uh, some things in the league, especially around coaches' conduct. What are the quotes on my Facebook page? Because we told people you were coming, and, and they were so excited. Uh, Friday night's tykes is they say it's more than just about football. Tell me what are they? What do you think that person meant by that comment? Well, I think what it is, it's it's trying to spark that conversation uh, as far as parents putting their kids in sports. How far is too far to push your kids? And you know how much is too much? Is contact for kids at this this age too much? Uh, so I think it's just sparking that kind of national debate, and I think that's why people are interested. Your league is the largest youth football league in the state of Texas and the second largest in the country. How did you come up with knowing how to do this? Are you a former football player or you just love football? Well, no, I mean, I played uh, all through high school and I played a little bit of college ball, and, you know, I actually was roped into this by uh, the gentleman who coached me as a kid. He brought me back and said, you know what, someone devoted their time to coach you to teach you this game of football now it's time for you to give back and I started off as a coach and then had an idea that you know the league that we were currently in at that time was not run very well so I kind of pitched it to him you know we can do this better you know if we just take a little bit more time and care as far as knowing what our people want what the kids are want and how to put a league out there that's going to 
you know, be attractive to everyone. So we kind of went from there. We started with six teams uh, 20, 20 years ago, and here we are now 20 years later with 105 organizations and 18,000 kids in our program. So, you know, I, I do have a general love for the game. I love to see the kids out there on Saturdays, and but more importantly, I want to give them, provide an environment for them to learn this game safely and, comp and play in a competitive league and hopefully carry it to the next level. Well, Brian Morgan is president, CEO, and co-founder of the Texas Youth Football Association. I'm glad you had a chance to talk to all my listening audience in Texas and beyond. And uh, when do you want them to tune in to uh, Esquire's Friday Night Tykes? Um, it, it airs on, the season premieres on Tuesday at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and uh, Pacific Time. So Tuesday night, tune in at 9 o'clock. Well, I guess since the Dallas Cowboys broke their heart, they'll be watching your teams. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you so much for coming on the Valder BB Show, Brian Morgan. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye.